Make sure to stay until the end if you have that problem that can lead to serious accident and we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. If you have a dot charger, we have a red flashlight, okay, lightning bolt on the dash and you're wondering, okay, what can easily cause that? Stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today, what you need to check, what to look for, uh, because it could be dangerous to drive your car that way. You need to take care of it, okay, otherwise you can uh, uh, actually end up in an accident, the engine may quit running, oh, it's sudden on you and that can uh, deactivate multiple systems in the vehicle. So let's go ahead and talk about that now. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to 300 free repair videos. On that dot charger, we'll have even more. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos, absolutely free. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your dot charger or any car, you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping, you want to save money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things what we have specifically here 2018 dodge this is a 3.6 engine guys but even if you have a v8 hemi it will be about the same now talking about that okay red lightning bolt on the dash we're going to go ahead turn the dash uh, uh turn the ignition on show you the red uh, lightning bolt okay and explain what the, oh, what can cause that what to look for and how to diagnose that problem so as you can see that's the light we're talking about okay right there on top you can see that light there uh, you might have other ones as well if you have service electronic stability control maybe maybe you can have something like service electronic throttle control uh, that can be affected as well okay let me turn the light on and see if you can see better no i think you can see more clearly okay that way trying to eliminate some light so you can see but that's the light right there guys so uh what can easily cause that? let's go outside and we'll explain that now so first thing will be to connect your scanner you need to check the engine computer for codes guys okay so right here we have that scanner it's really good it's a very good scanner that can do multiple things such as steering angle sensor reset uh, reworn injectors uh, oil resets multiple things but you go right here you select enter for obd function and under obd it's going to communicate establish communication with the engine computer and we'll read the code see what it says we have four codes found we'll have some other problems too check each of the modules we'll go to read codes and the codes that we have under stored codes guys okay will be uh, camshaft position sensor intake air temperature sensor throttle pedal position sensor switch a and b so we have problem right there as well guys okay and throttle position actuator so you can see we have okay uh, codes related to camshaft position sensor and intake air temperature sensor. The intake air temperature sensor was triggered because we had to remove the intake manifold and we just turned the ignition on and it didn't read it. Uh, camshaft position sensor, it's something that we fixed before but we haven't cleared the code. But you always need to check the codes and see in what direction they will lead you. It needs to be something related most of the times with the powertrain or the uh, transmission or engine. And if you have problems, you will often get that powertrain light, the uh, lightning bolt, in our case guys since we have a message service electronic throttle control okay it's that device right here that's the throttle body causing that problem uh, you need to always inspect the codes and when you see a code for throttle body or something like that always inspect the wiring harness make sure it's plugged in it's uh, uh, actually guys it's actually uh, all the way pushed in inspect the wires make sure that these wires are actually in good condition because naturally people will press here to disconnect and pull for the wires and then can pull them out of the connectors that's a common thing that we see here at the shop too now that red lightning bolt light should never be ignored because that means you have problems with the powertrain engine and transmission and some of those problems can lead to where okay the engine stalls or dies and that can lead to accident so always fix it on time many things can cause that problem okay but i recommend to always scan the system first for codes number one number two when you find out what codes you have check fuses and relays for that specific component we have complete videos on our second youtube channel electrical car repair life that will 
teach you about every possible fuse if you let's say you need fuse for ignition coils we'll have the fuse and the relay video there so you don't have to waste uh, time guys okay trying to find it if you need uh, let's say uh, fuse for radiator fan just type it and you'll be able to find it but first read the code see what's wrong second check fuses relays third test the component i'll recommend we'll have videos how to test almost every component on dot charger coming as well for instance if you need to test throttle body we'll have the video coming to you thank you for watching and see you guys next time